Hey everybody, welcome back to my week six Dancing with the Stars recap. Tonight was horror night, and I can honestly say I've never seen any of these horror movies. I'm not a fan of scary things, but I did enjoy horror night on Dancing with the Stars, so let's get into it. First to dance were The Miz and Whitney, and they did a pasta doble. I thought this pasta they did was very nice. It was strong, it was powerful, the technique was awesome. Um, they were very in sync with each other. I thought he did really good with staying in a character. Um, overall, the dance could use so um, some more shaping, but it was very good. Um, the makeup that they had on, I say, awesome. You probably would, I definitely would not be able to tell who Whitney was wearing that makeup. So they got two nines and two eights. I think these were good scores, but I do think I would have given a nine. Kenya Moore and Brandon did an Argentine tango. I thought it was good. They were, she was a little stiff, um, and it could have been a lot smoother. Um, you could tell she was nervous and not as confident as she normally was. But the energy level was very good. Um, the only thing she needs to work on um, is transitions. Um, she got four eights. I definitely think those were fair scores, and I also would have given an eight. Jojo Siwa and Jenna did a jazz routine today. Um, I think it was good. Um, I definitely think she worked hard to stay in character throughout the whole dance. Um, the ending wasn't perfect because it looked like she was running out of energy to just finish the moves, but she did push through it. Overall, this was a good dance. Um, she got four tens. I personally think those scores were a little high. I would have given a nine. Next up was Cody Rigsby and Cheryl, and they did a cha-cha. I believe the movie they did was American Psycho, which, again, I've never seen any of these movies, so I have no idea what any of them are about. But he pulled off the character nicely from what I can tell. He looked like a businessman doing a cha-cha for sure. Um, you can definitely tell they worked on partnering this week. His hip action were really good, and he had nice straight legs, which is not always easy to accomplish from doing cha-cha. Um, it definitely looked like cha-cha was a really good style for him, and I hope he's able to dance this style again. He got all nines, and I also would have given him a nine. Jimmy Allen and Emma did a contemporary inspired by The Quiet Place. Um, this was by far my favorite dance of the night. This was so good. It was super powerful and it paired with the music nicely, which it's not easy to do with instrumental music. I thought the sign language incorporation they did was really cool. Um, I also have taken some sign language, so that's probably why it's more meaningful to me. Um, not that I could understand much what they were saying because I'm rusty, but they still did an awesome dance. Their choreography was done perfectly. Um, I also enjoyed how it wasn't a super scary performance um, because most of the other ones were very blood and guts, everything like that, and I think their dance was perfect. They got two tens and two nines. I definitely think they should have gotten a ten. The nines were very low in my opinion. So next, Derek Huff and Haley Herbert performed an Argentine tango. This, I was so excited to see. If you guys have followed along my channel, you will have known that I just went to see Derek Huff's performance in Vegas. He is such an amazing dancer. He had his whole troupe with him that was in the Vegas show. And overall, everybody in that group is just so talented. And I think this Argentine tango was perfect for the night. Uh, yeah, I definitely think... I'm just blown away that they performed and everybody in there was saying, everybody in my house was like, wow, that was so good. Next out is Olivia Jade and Val, and they also did a Paso Doble. Um, I do think it was a great Paso, good technique and good shaping. I think for this dance, she did need to be a little bit more serious, have a facial expression that just showed seriousness. But um, I this was a very hard routine that they did. And I think she did it really well. That's the only comment I have is just make the facial expression more serious because she looked very happy, like she was enjoying it, which is good, but still for Paso, it needs to be serious. 
Um, she got all nines, and I think the nines were really low. I think that they, they could have gotten a 10. Melora Hardin and Artem did a jive to Hound Dog by Elvis Presley. I believe their movie was Cujo. I do think it was good. Um, it did seem like a slow drive for the song that they had, um, but the choreography that she had was done very nicely. Um, like the judges said, the dance did seem a lot easier and safer than what the other contestants have been giving. And also, this dance was not scary at all. And obviously, it's going to be pretty hard to be scary to a song like Hound Dog. So, yeah, I think this dance was done really well. And it was a good job. It just could have been a little faster. Um, they got two eights and two nines. I would have given an eight. I'm in Schumper and Daniela also did an amazing contemporary this week. I was very nervous when I heard they were doing contemporary because he's he's got long arms and long legs and sometimes that doesn't always go well together. So um, I was very curious to see what they do with the height difference. But they gave an amazing routine. The lifts were fantastic. Partnering was great. All the lifts they have done so far are just blow you away. So fantastic. They were very in character throughout the whole dance. They got all tens and they definitely deserved it. Second to last were Suni Lee and Sasha and they did a tango. Um, I believe it was inspired by Vampire Diaries. I thought this tango was awesome. Um, it, tango definitely seems to suit her because it is a more serious type of dance. The one they did was more serious type of dance and that's her personality. From gymnastics is very serious um, but you could definitely tell like she was having a lot of fun their frame was great um, she's definitely come a long way in performing and I think throughout the competition she'll grow even more she got all nines and I also would have given a nine very last performer Amanda Klutz and Alan they also did an Argentine tango um, I do think it was good it was a hard routine and it was done nicely um, there were some moments where she needed to straighten her legs and point her toes, but I do agree with what the judges were saying, how she looked like she was trying a little bit too hard this week instead of letting it come naturally. Um, she also looked nervous this week, which she never looks nervous in her dances. She always looks very confident, but this week something just seemed off. I'm not sure if it was because how hard the routine was or just pressure is getting to her, but I don't know. She got two nines and two tens. I would have given a nine. There was an elimination this week. Um, the bottom two were Suni Lee and Sasha and Kenya Morton Brandon. I'm honestly very surprised Suni was in the bottom. Um, Kenya, not too much. She's been in the bottom um, twice before, and I've kind of expected if she got to the bottom again that she would go home. But yeah, I was very surprised Suni was in the bottom. She's a very good dancer. She's a very hard worker, but I do think that the amount she's holding back on her performance level is getting to her and is getting to, it's influencing the people's votes. But I do think if she lets it come through like she's having fun like she did tonight, then more people will start to vote and then she'll be safe. Um, yeah, I was very surprised and Kenya Moore ended up going home. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Dancing with the Stars updates. I'll have another review out next Wednesday, so stay tuned.